What is up, my Forex for Beginners family? Okay, welcome to module two. This is where everything gets really exciting. Uh, the previous module was just setting up your accounts and everything was free. And this is also free, but it was just setting up the framework. The first module was just setting up the framework of what tools you need. And now we're actually getting get into chart analysis. So I don't know what you've heard in the past. Some people think you can trade on your phone. Not really. Trading is about chart analysis. And in order for you to do proper chart analysis, we need charting software. And the best charting software we, uh, we're we using and what I'm using to teach you guys is TradingView. So this is TradingView here. If you haven't started up for your, if you haven't started your um, free 30-day trial, um, I suggest you sign up now. Um, if you sign up, you you get a whole 30 days free. You can even stay with the free account if you want. But uh, I know you're going to become addicted to learning chart analysis because you're going to see how much potential money you can make. But we're not going to talk about the money right now. We're going to talk about chart analysis, and I want you to understand chart analysis and if you've watched my intro video um, I've become knowledgeable in trading for one reason one reason because I bought a lot of soft or a lot of programs uh, on trading um, courses I actually bought 13 and I spent six months on each one of these programs and I decided that I wanted to fast track my learning and I'm the type of person that uh, seeks knowledge and it's always served me good by trying to learn as much as I can. However, for you guys, why I designed, designed this course is because I'm going to fast track your learning. I'm going to use video to teach you the uh, not just the basics, but the core and most important uh, skills you need to learn. And as you learn these different skills, at the end of it, I'm gonna give you a winning strategy. And all of these lessons that you learn, I'm gonna, at the end, put it all together and show you how to um, follow my rules and have a winning strategy. And and then you'll, you'll love chart analysis. The great thing about trading is you don't need anyone's help once you learn the basics. It's just gonna be you and the charts. That's it. So that's why charting software is very important. Uh, it's a paid account is really cheap. I think it's like $15 a month. Uh, I suggest signing up for the pro, uh, pro plus account if you can afford it. Um, otherwise you can always, you know, use a free account. But the main point is I want you to learn and everything is free that I'm going to teach you 100% free and there's no reason to not learn. And if you're looking to learn a skill that could change your life forever, trading Forex is uh, what you need to do. Okay, so I'll leave a link for TradingView if you haven't signed up yet. Uh, like I said, it's free. And that's all I'm going to say about that. So, okay, so today, uh, the first lesson, we're going to talk about trend lines and parallel channels. And uh, this is a pretty easy concept to learn. Um, if you haven't set up the favorites yet for, see this bar right here, this is my favorites bar. Uh, if you went through the trading view tutorial, I would have showed you how to set up just, these are just common tools that we use. So it's on my favorite bar, but today we're talking about trend lines and parallel channels. So, uh, I use this guy right here for trend lines and parallel channel is this guy right here parallel channel. So if you want to actually set it into your favorite bar here, just go over to the left here and click this little this little arrow here and it'll open this window. So make sure you have trend line checked here. See how I, I check it and it stars it and then it puts it over here in my bar here. So make sure trend line is selected, horizontal line, horizontal ray, arrow, and parallel channel. So today we're going to be working on trend lines and parallel channel. And you should see those two somewhere on here. You can actually just use your mouse and left click and hold and you can drag drag them around if you want to like set the order. And the other thing was I wanted to go over with you really quick 
is I've had students ask me how I move my charts around. So um, in order for you to move up and down, you always have to adjust this column first. So if you just come here, like actually, let's start from the beginning. Just right click on your mouse and hit reset chart. So this, this uh, resets your chart to a nice like uh, viewing size. Um, but see if I try to, right now I'm clicking my left mouse button and I'm trying to move the chart up and down, it doesn't move. I can move it side to side, but I can't move it up and down. And so in order to be able to move it up and down, I just have to go to this column here and left click my mouse and hold and just drag a little bit down. This adjusts the vertical axis. And once you adjust it once, then you can move the chart all around. And I'm using a wheel mouse, so I can actually, I have a little wheel on my mouse, and I can actually just move my wheel mouse, and it actually shrinks the chart uh, horizontally. And if you don't have a wheel mouse, if you move your mouse down here, uh, this zoom in, zoom out, it actually adjusts that column for you. So if you don't have a wheel mouse, you can use this. So you would just shrink your chart like that and then come over to the right maybe shrink it down a bit and then you can move your chart around so that's how i adjust my charts so we're, we're going to be finding trend lines right now so i need you familiar with being able to adjust this size so this axis just shrinking like this you can use your wheel mouse or you can use this and this arrow here just moves the chart left and right i don't really use that i like just moving the chart around by just adjusting this and then I can move my mouse, uh, my chart anywhere by just left clicking my mouse. So, okay, so today we're learning about trend lines, but um, if you're wondering, I'm just gonna give you a quick, because of this first module, we're starting um, uh, trend lines and parallel lines. I just wanted to quickly tell what our goal is here. Our goal is to predict, see how price is falling here? So our goal and what I'm going to teach you is how to predict price. So this is this these candlesticks are um, telling us that what the price is. And if you look over on the right column, this is like the price. And um, if we haven't uh, set your chart yet, I just want you to go. Um, I don't know what pair you're on, but go to GBP USD and just um, make sure we're on the same chart. So type in GBP USD and then select uh, FXCM or these are just broker broker data. So you're selecting this trading pair. So it's the British pound versus US dollar and just click and it'll bring up this chart. So that's, I just want to make sure we're on the same page. And so what I want you to do throughout this training is I want you to watch the video and each lesson is going to have a topic like today is trend lines and parallel lines and i want you to go after you're finished watching this um, re-watch it again and just pause it and follow along on your own chart so everything we do here i want you to go to your own charts on trading view and copy what i'm doing practice each lesson i want you to practice the skill because as we learn i'm just going to teach you the core um, lessons that i need you to know and 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 that's going to lead us to me teaching i'm going to give you a 100 percent free winning strategy to follow in trading and as long as you learn all these core steps you'll understand how to execute the uh, strategy i'm going to teach you and that's all the way at the end and that's going to be our goal and uh, it's going to be great i'm really happy to um, give back to all of you um, uh, all I ask is that you do is if you find value in this share share my website or share my Facebook page Just share this information with other people so they can learn just like you're learning right now, and it's 100% free Anyways, let's go. Okay, so trend lines um, Okay, our goal is to um, Predict when price is falling so price is falling here and this column on the right is what the price is and this is uh, the t this column down here is the timeline. So basically when we think price is going to fall, we want to uh, place a, a sell. And I I'll show you later. Uh, I've already showed you how to try to um, place trades and sells. But basically selling, you just hit a button and you select what size order. And, and when we hit sell and if the price goes down, 
we close our trade down here and we may make money and then that is essentially trading and then um, the opposite way if we think price is going to increase we place a uh, a buy order and I'm just gonna write buy here buy and if we're correct and price goes up we close our trade right at this level and we make money so that's trading but what chart analysis is, what I'm teaching you right now, is how do we predict which way price is gonna move? That's the million dollar question. And that's what I'm gonna teach you. And this is step one. So we're gonna learn about trend lines here. So another question people usually ask is like, how do these, you know, we're trading currencies here, but how does chart analysis, um, you know, why, why, when I predict price is gonna move down this way, why does it happen? Well, why chart analysis is so important and some people don't even learn chart analysis and they fall for scams. Forget about the scams, it's all about chart analysis. If, if someone else is telling you whether to buy and sell, that isn't real trading. You make your own decisions. You decide based on your chart analysis when to buy and when to sell okay it's about you in the charts and nobody else and it's a beautiful thing being able to make your own decisions make your own money and not have to care about anyone else's opinion because once you learn chart analysis uh, you, you're not going to need any other information anyway so trend line so everyone else in the world that's doing trading is doing chart analysis the same way so that's why when I draw a trend line and and price falls from there that's because millions of other people in the world are doing chart analysis the same way I'm teaching you and because everyone's doing the same thing um, we see patterns in the market so our goal is to recognize patterns in the market and execute uh, a, a trade and basically join the trend that's the goal we don't want to predict where the where the where the price is going to move to we want to join the trend join the trend and you probably heard this saying before the trend is our friend okay ah, sorry just getting a drink of water okay so finally let's try um, trend lines so trend lines um, there's a point a so we're just gonna call point a where we're starting so point a actually didn't want that open so we'll just write point A. So this is point A. So I'm trying to find a good example for you, just so you can really understand trend lines. Um, so we're on the daily chart. So make sure you're on the same chart here. And okay, so we're gonna use this as an example. So we're gonna we're gonna say that price was you know say we're over here and we didn't we didn't know about what price was going to do but um, this is what I want you to notice just draw some trend lines so we're gonna go to our trend line tool which is right here I'm gonna move it over so we click there once and you can you can choose what color you want um, how, what thickness you want the line and um, if you want it dotted but just just basically have a nice uh, a thickness about that uh, that thick and I use this green color I just like it and so then so yeah so we just click here we make our adjustments and then we take our mouse and right here so I'm gonna use this as point a and I'm not gonna be looking over here so basically this is point a and this is point B that's all I'm going to be looking at. So let me just move this over. So this is point A. And let me copy and paste. And this is going to be point B. Point B. So when finding trend lines, uh, you want two, two points to touch your trend line. And then what we call is we drag it into the future. So I'm up here, I'm going to select my trend line tool. 
I'm going to click here. That's going to be point A. I'm going to drag this into the future and I'm going to um, move this around a bit. So finding the trend line is a bit subjective. Let me, give me a second here and I'm going to um, see what I can find for you. Okay, so I'm going to draw it about there. So point A, I'm actually going to, this sometimes, you know, it doesn't perfectly line up because who knows, this could have been the market closing. So I'm not going to use that as point A. I'm going to use this as point A. So point A, point B. So basically when I draw my trend line, I'm just going to start here. And sometimes yeah, you go from, see this little wick here? I'm going to go from the base here. So see how if you look closely, uh, let me get my arrow. You see how these little little uh, spikes are touching this and you see how this spiked through but it closed the candle closed above the green line so basically I want to find the average point here and you'll get used to doing this just so basically I want point A is where I start drawing my trend line and I want it to touch these candles and then point B I'm going to point B is here but this is what I call dragging into the future. So I'm just going to drag it over here, but my eyes are still focused right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure my trend line touches just the bottom of that, of that wick. Uh, and that's good right there. So basically this is what commonly happens. And this is called, um, see how price here is bouncing off this trend line and I wasn't even looking here. All I did was make sure when I started my trend line, point A touched these these candles. Point B, make sure it touched these candles right there. So make sure these candles touched my line. And then see how price moved, bounced off my trend line, came back down and touched my trend line again. And I'm going to draw this a little further. And that's about it. So basically, I just want you to notice that when you draw trend lines, you'll, this is what commonly happens. Price will come back and bounce off the trend line. Uh, and here it, it actually found, see how when it was dropping, price was dropping, it dropped came in see how this middle candle it just touched that line touched that line and then continued down it's because everyone in the world uh, that's trading they're drawing these trend lines and and so why is it bounced off the trend line because there's millions of other traders in the world that drew this trend line here made sure that trend line touched this this point b touched point b and then a bunch of traders are saying looking at this they're like hey price is coming down it's about to hit the trend line this is looking like a good place where i should buy and look look what happens if i placed a buy order right here and I, and i'll show you how to i show you how to place a buy it's pretty it's really easy but basically you can buy and sell whichever currency pair you're using, but you can buy and sell whenever you want. And so this is just by basically looking at trend lines, uh, point A, point B, I, I can easily predict that, hey, at this point right here, there's most likely going to be a bounce upwards, like it did, this was a huge bounce. And if you placed a buy order right here, you wouldn't have made a lot of money and simply because you were aware of trend lines and this happens all the time and I'm just gonna keep showing you more examples but basically I want you to um, on your own chart come here I'm at the top left here type in GBP USD it'll open up this chart I want you to go to the daily chart 
and I want you just to practice drawing trend lines and see how this phenomena or this occurrence keeps happening. You know, you draw point A to point B, pull it into the future, and you're going to see price come back to these levels and you'll have some sort of reaction. So just make note of that. Another way to draw trend lines is a parallel channel. So I'm going to use this same area as a example. But this time we're using a interesting tool that shows us even more um, phenomena that happen or occurrences or repeated patterns. So our goal as traders are to look for repeated patterns because everyone in the world is doing chart analysis the same way and we're all looking for the same bounces or the same um, patterns to occur and then we trade them and and you know we're either right or wrong but anyway so here we're gonna go and draw a uh, a channel now so up here uh, my, my favorite is the channel channel uh, parallel channel tool if you don't have it in your favorites bar then just make sure you go back over here on the left and select favorite so click this on parallel channel and it'll bring it uh, onto your favorite bar. So base, So to now we're going to draw a parallel channel. So again, I'm still going to go from point A to point B. I'm not going to look over here. I'm going to just uh, draw the channel. So point A. So when you click your mouse button once at point A, I'm not holding any the mouse button right now. So I just clicked here and it makes this line. And so then I'm going to align it with point B. And when I click a second time, and I'm not holding the mouse button, I just so I did one click, two click, and then it makes this parallel, this line, this parallel line that I can move. And so what I do with this parallel line is I'm gonna look for an, an, a nice place to place it. So I I can't move the angle of it because that angle, what what parallel means is it's gonna be exactly in line with this line here. So a parallel channel is, uh, let me just draw in this channel first and then I'll show you how I found it. And you're probably already seeing what I'm looking at. So, so what I did was actually, I first looked over here. I first looked over here and I wanted the, li the, the, the line that I drew in to touch here. It also touched here. And I saw it, it kind of went through this little line, but then here, this touch, this touch. So the most important um, things I looked at was uh, making it touch here as much as I could. Also, uh, let me draw, I wanted to make sure it touched right here. See how it just touched it slightly? That's, those are the, those are the ones you want to look for where it just touches and it bounces off. So this is showing us that this is a valid trend line because not only did it uh, touch this trend line a couple times here, it actually touched the trend line many times and reversed from there. And, and it even did it here as well. So you can already see the power of trend lines and channels. And, and then when you draw this channel, it automatically draws this middle channel, this little dotted line, which is, is it's the 50%. It's so if this is 0% and this is 100%, this is in the middle, this is 50%. So it draws a nice uh, middle trend line and check it out. Look how accurate it is. See how price came here, touched, touched that line right there. Where else did it happen? Uh, this is pretty good right there. Touch there. Here it tried to break below it and uh, it found support. So it tried to break below and it bounced up. Um, again, like there's many examples. So even right here, touch the 50% line. So all you, as you can see, uh, you know, that's enough examples here, but basically price 
you know, this is a, a you can call it a, a support area. So this trend line also acts like support and resistance. And it is basically, it's it creates support for price. So it, it was supported here, it was supported here, it was supported here. And then even in the middle here, it found resistance. It found support here, it found resistance here, um, it found, you know, resistance here. So basically, um, price just bounces through these zones. And if you can draw trend lines and just see how price reacts to these um, levels, it helps you predict where price is going to move next. So um, the the goal of trading is to um, not just look for one uh, reason to buy or sell. It, it's called confluence. Confluence means when we look for multiple reasons why we should buy and buy or sell. So this could have been one reason why I would have sold from here, and I'm going to teach you how to find multiple reasons. But right now we're focusing on trend lines and parallel parallel channels. So. So this is just one reason that possibly I was going to sell here because I've already proved to myself that price has found um, it difficult to break above this trend line. See how price always just goes back down after it tries to hit this? So this is one reason why I possibly would have sold here. And as we go through the uh, different chapters, you're going to find uh, multiple reasons uh, and when we have multiple reasons to sell or buy it's called confluence so um, yeah so by the end of this course I want to teach you to do one thing I want you to teach you to right now we're gonna use a demo account and it's gonna cost you nothing you're not gonna risk any of your real money right now we're going to be using a demo account and I want you to teach you how to take a $50 or $100 account and turn that into $500. And once you learn to turn a, an account in from $50 to $500, and we're going to first do it on demo, so you're not going to risk any real money. But once you learn how to, um, once you learn the skill and learn how to uh, turn fifty or a hundred dollars into five hundred dollars you're gonna learn so much and uh, you'll, you'll learn a way to make money for the rest of your life and you don't have to do anything all you do is jump on the charts it's just you and the charts no one else you decide when you buy and sell and you make money and when I discovered this many years ago it uh, it was a huge I was very thankful that I, I learned this skill and that I found it online and there's many there's many scams online and the problem is people don't want to learn and people want to um, take the easy route please I'm telling you right now don't try to make money right off off the go right off the start I want you to use a demo account and learn how to do chart analysis. I can't stress this more than enough. If you want to be a trader, you have to focus on chart analysis. That's that's how it is. So make a decision. If you want to learn how to trade, it starts with chart analysis. <clears throat> okay, so enough about that so what I'm gonna do is let's go look for some other examples basically that's support uh, that's trend lines and parallel channels I'm just gonna delete this so I just click on it and hit delete on my keyboard so we just look up for a couple more examples but that's basically trend lines so basically I want you to go and just just keep looking for uh, trend lines so maybe this is another trend line here uh, let me see and you never know until you draw it. So right here. I'm going to start from You can Drawing in trend lines they call it it's subjective So you kind of draw it in and then you adjust it and you're trying to find the average the average where where it touches the most Candlestick so I'm just going to draw it here. So sometimes I go from the body sometimes I go from the wick so this this candle right here it you know I don't know if you know like the candle this is the candle 
and these little lines underneath it or on the top they're called the wicks so th this is the top is where price closed and 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 the bottom is where price op opened but that's not important right now that's just let's practice drawing trend lines so let's let me try to this one here so yeah this is a good one so okay so what i did here is i made sure these these little lines are called wicks these at the end of the candle these are wicks so i i touched the wick there so you can see it touched not only once but twice so touch there right there and it touched there and then i made sure it touched here it touched there it also touched here and then you know when this is i'm going to teach you later it's called a bright break uh, a break of structure but anyways when the reason why we draw these trend lines is because we want to notice when either price is bouncing off it bouncing off it or breaks the trend this is what it calls breaking when the candle drops down and it breaks the trend line a new direction is starting that that's a that's an indication that this this upward trend has now stopped or and is changing trends and the trend is starting to break and go downwards so this is the power of trend lines because it shows you when the market has stopped trending so here it's a trending upwards price going up coming down bouncing up here but then it gets hammered down and the direction changed so again the power of trend lines so let's keep looking so yeah so that you know I could draw a trend line here if I wanted to so here I'll show you another example like again I said trend lines are subjective so we're just gonna draw it in point A you know this could be point B but I'm just gonna stretch it out here and see where the most lines are touched so that's looking kind of good to me one second so sometimes um, price can do this like and this when I say price this is what I mean I'm, I'm talking about this movement this is actually called price action so we're looking at um, how price is moving and the action that it's creating and uh, this is how we do chart analysis so this is price action so we're looking at how price is moving so right now price is in a downtrend over here we we see that uh, price bounced off of this came back down and some of you are wondering why didn't I put point why didn't I put this lower like this point B should be touching here but because um, I already see where price has gone just look at what happens so you see how it touched there it touched here and then when price price went on the other side um, see how price came up and it touched the trend line that's showing me that this is a strong trend line because not only are we touching the trend line from the top see how it came down and touched here and then it came down and touched here we're also coming up from the bottom and touching it again so that's how I knew that I wasn't gonna draw my trend line from here to here because I could already see that there's like a middle point here and and that's what you want to notice you want to notice that um, where where the trends uh, where, where the where the price action or where the price is touching the trend line so you want to just make note of this and as you practice this you're gonna get better at this and it's actually pretty easy once you practice it a few times and let's go look for another example okay maybe I can draw you another channel uh, channels are good for when when you see like you know when you see big movements like this um, this is typically where you can kind of draw in a channel a channel right so what I'm gonna do here is 
uh, let's just try drawing in the channel. Um, so where's my channel tool right here? And I'm going to go from here to here. And then drag it down about here. So let me delete these lines. So let's see what we see. We see price touches multiple times. Touch my trend line here, here, also here. Price came down, touched my trend line here. It also tested my trend line here. So this is just proof that this is a valid trend line. Uh, or sorry, parallel channel. A parallel channel is made up of essentially three trend lines. One, two, three. And now we could even look at the middle channel. Look, it touched the middle middle line right there. It touched the middle line right here. It touched the middle line right here. Like, is this, this is a perfect example of the power of trend lines. And like I said, there's millions of people all over the world doing chart analysis just like us. And that's why um, these patterns are occurring. And this is what you call a breakout. So see how it, it broke out of this channel? It still, look, it came, came down and tested the outside of my channel, outside of the channel. That's even more proof that this is a valid channel because after it broke out, it came back and it could have fell back in the channel, but it decided to find, we call this support. I'm going to talk about support and resistance in another chapter, but anywhere that price bounces off, it's either it, when it, when it comes down and finds, this is what we call support. And when it goes up and stops, this is what's called resistance. But we're going to talk about that in another chapter. But anyways, I want you to make note of how price came and busted out of the channel. You can see it busted out of the channel, came down, tested the outside of the channel, and then continued on. So that's just, um, that's just what happens. So price will be moving, you know, in the channel. It'll be moving in a channel until we notice a breakout. See how then price was like, okay, I want out of this channel. Uh, I broke out of it. I'm going to come test the outside of the channel and continue up. And so this is again a, um, a you know, it broke out of the channel, and we're gonna I'm gonna teach you in the following chapters how to how to identify and notice that, hey, it's breaking out of the channel. This is possibly a good buy opportunity. So this is what trading is. You, you, you map out what price is doing and you notice areas where it's going to, it looks like it's breaking out. And that's when you use all your uh, charting tools to make um, educated, um, predictions of where price is going to go and if you can make an educated prediction and use proper risk management i'm going to teach you risk management later but basically you you want to risk a you know depending on your your account size and because you guys are new and you're beginners you're going to be risking a small amount of money and I just want you to learn how to trade first before you think about making money. But basically, I'm going to teach you, I want you to risk $10. So we're going to risk $10 and try to make a $80. So that's, you know, that's pretty good. That's an 8x return. You're risking $10 and making $80. And, and I'm going to keep talking about this $10, risking $10 and making $80 because I want to want you to get that in your head. This is what trading is. Once you learn, and I'm going to teach you 100% free, how to risk $10 and make $80. And if you can master this skill, then you know what? In the future, instead of risking $10, you're going to risk $100 and your profit will be $800. But right now, we don't care about the money. We care about 
taking small trades and learning chart analysis. And uh, that's pretty much it. So I want you to go back, um, rewatch this video. I want you to um, open up your own charts on TradingView. Go to GBPUSD. Make sure your your um, your favorite bar is you know has these items favorited. Uh, if you want, you need to go back to the TradingView tutorial. Just go back to Module One and find TradingView and just go through that tutorial again but basically this is uh, how you find trend lines and parallel channels i want you to uh, go into your charts you know just draw this in point a to point b and draw your trend lines and draw your channels and start noticing start noticing how price is uh, reacting around these uh, trend lines and these channels and uh, just go through these lessons uh, watch the videos twice or however many times you need, but I want you to master each one of these sections because it's all going to lead to a winning strategy that I'm going to teach you. Um, the thing about Forex and trading, there's so much information out there that that's why I spent many years. Actually, I first spent, spent three years just not knowing what I was doing and reading random stuff on the internet and getting sucked into a couple scams so I lost three years of um, my life and you know I was I saw the potential in trading I saw how much I could make really quickly but um, until I started focusing on chart analysis um, I wasn't really making very I, you know I'd win I'd make some money and then I'd lose some money so what I ended up doing is I invested in a lot of courses I I trained myself and now what I'm doing for you is I'm going to teach you how to avoid all the scams. I want you to focus on one thing and that is chart analysis. And I'm going to teach you the core things you need to know. I'm going to teach you very quickly using video. And once you learn these core steps, we're at the end, I'm, we're going to put it all together and I'm going to teach you a winning strategy and then you won't need me. You won't need anyone else in the world. It'll just be you in the charts. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next lesson. Forex family for life.